Hey everybody, it's Aaron, and welcome back to the house of Aaron. <laughs> welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. I'm excited to be with you guys on this Friday afternoon. You guys, I cannot believe that it is Friday already. I feel like it was just Tuesday night, okay? Y'all know I'm obsessed with the news. I've been obsessed with the politics. This is like the Super Bowl for me. And so I can't believe we're at Friday already. Like, what is going on? And we still don't have a president. I'm kind of over it at this point, okay? I'm stressed, but I'm over it. So, um, you guys, on today's episode of House Call, we have a really good one because we are going to be talking about the Potomac Housewives. Apparently, Robin Dixon is turning on her bestie, Giselle. Like, what is going on? In a clip that I'm gonna show you guys today, you have Karen going in on Giselle and Jamal's relationship, and Robin, Giselle's bestie, is co-signing it, all right? And so um, it's it's gonna get good. And then we are going to speak on Miss Candy Burrish. She is speaking out about NeNe Leaks, okay, on Steve Harvey's show on Facebook. So we're gonna get into it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and let's get straight into the video. We're just gonna get straight into the meat and potatoes of everything we have going. All right, first things first. I did want to mention this presidential race because y'all know I gotta keep you informed because I know a lot of people are avoiding the news and I know a lot of people don't like to get involved with the politics and all of that stuff. But, um, you know, you gotta stay informed. So if you don't know already, Mr. Joe Biden, okay, the Democrat uh, candidate for president has flipped Georgia, okay? Georgia is light blue. He is leading in Georgia, which is traditionally a ruby red state, right? Okay, Georgia hasn't turned blue as far as voting for president since 1992 with Bill Clinton. And uh, Joe Biden has also flipped Pennsylvania, all right? So the Associated Press, I believe, has Joe Biden at 264 electoral college votes so he just needs one more state to make it to 270 or make it above 270 and he will be the president elect of the country so i'm super excited so hopefully we can pull this one out um i believe with everything that's happening donald trump would need to win i think all of the states that Joe Biden just stole from him. And so it's gonna be interesting. So I think we're gonna have a clear and concise picture about who's gonna be president later on today. So before we get into Potomac, I did wanna get into Miss Candy Burris from Real Housewives of Atlanta. She is appearing on the Steve Harvey Show. Well, it's not called the Steve Harvey Show. It's called Steve, okay? Which is Steve Harvey's show on Facebook Watch, okay? So I guess Facebook picked up his talk show called Steve in the same way that uh, you guys know that uh, Red Table Talk is on Facebook as well. And uh, Candy Burris is going to be appearing on Steve's show on November 9th, okay? And so I wanted to show you guys this little clip of Candy on Steve because I just found it to be interesting. She is speaking on Miss Nene Leaks, okay? And we have to read between the lines because what's going on with Miss Candy, okay? Check it out. We gotta talk a little housewives business. They so now, uh, Nene Leakes recently announced that she's leaving the show. Mm -hmm. Have you spoken to her about it? You all talk no. about it at all? No, we don't really Not talk. Not at all? No. So what's your take on the whole situation? Well, I mean, I think, you know, in negotiations, sometimes we get what we want, sometimes we don't get what we want. So you guys saw that, all right? You guys saw how when Steve Harvey brought up Real Housewives of Atlanta, Candy was just like, uh, like, do we have to talk about that? Like, why do we have to mention that? Can we just move on to a different subject? Like, did you guys see her demeanor? Do you see how irritated she was when Steve Harvey brought up the Real Housewives of Atlanta? The weird thing about this is that, Candy, the only reason why anyone would want to interview you is because of Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? I'm just saying, because what else do you got going on? Like, I know you got your restaurants. I know you got your music. I know, you know, Candy is this rich bitch, okay? She is the new queen of Atlanta or whatever. But, you know, you're as relevant as you are because of this show, okay? We just gonna keep it a buck, okay? We gonna keep it to Virgil's. And so the fact that she gave all that attitude, I was just a little bit confused by that. Now, Steve Harvey asked her about Nene. He said, have you spoken to Nene? And not surprisingly, Candy said, 
no, okay? She said, me and Nene do not speak. Then Steve Harvey asked her about why Nene um, isn't a part of the new season, season 13 of Housewives. And Candy went on to say, well, it's all about negotiations, all right? Sometimes you get what uh, you want, sometimes you don't. And when you are in a situation where you don't get what you want, you have to make the decision to either leave or stay. And so Nene made that decision, which I felt like that was a good answer for Miss Candy, okay? It was a very neutral answer. Even though we can tell that, you know, Candy don't really mess with Nene like that, it was a good neutral answer. But I'm really trying to figure out what the attitude is. It kind of reminded me of Fallon, you know, a couple of months ago when everybody figured out that Fallon, okay, the new girl was gonna be appearing on the new season of Housewives. And she did her first Instagram Live since announcing it. And of course, all the comments is gonna be about Housewives of Atlanta because that's the only reason why we're here, sis, okay? The only reason why we've tuned into your Instagram Live, the only reason why you have all of these Instagram followers is because of Housewives of Atlanta. Like, we want to know what's tea. And y'all, Fallon had the biggest attitude talking about, I didn't come on here to talk about Housewives and I don't want to talk about no show and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, why are you going to join something and don't want to talk about it? I'm just confused, okay? Unless you're contractually you know, obligated not to talk about it, unless you got like an NDA or something. But the whole attitude, okay, you can keep that at the house. Oh, and I did want to mention, speaking of Steve Harvey, y'all remember when Tamar Braxton first got fired from The Real? Tamar went on to Steve Harvey's show and Steve Harvey said that, um, you know, he was going to executive produce Tamar's talk show since she was fired. Um, what happened to that? Okay, what happened to Tamar's talk show that Steve Harvey was going to produce? I'm just a little bit confused. So I just, that was just a thought that I had in my head because I honestly haven't seen anything Steve Harvey besides Family Feud in a really, really long time. All right, so let's move on to the main part of this video. Okay, we got to talk about Housewives of Potomac because y'all... It's getting good, okay? Um, how uh, Cardi B said coronavirus, okay? It's getting real. It's getting real on uh, Potomac, okay? So, in this clip that I'm about to show you guys, I believe the girls are on a trip. I believe they're in Portugal, if I'm not mistaken, okay? I could be wrong, but that's what I'm assuming. And Karen, okay, is getting back at Giselle, okay? So, y'all remember in last week's episode, Giselle was being super messy by taking a conversation that Giselle had with Wendy and taking it all the way to Miss Karen, okay? Stirring up the pot, okay? Just call her bet in a hocus pocus, right? And so, Karen said, I'm gonna get you back and I'm gonna bring up the situation with you and Jamal. Why is he never around? Why hasn't he supported you at any of your events or any of your ventures? What's the real tea, sis? And you guys, Robin jumped in and co-signed everything that Karen had to say. Check this out. I am concerned that I haven't seen Jamal supporting you in Potomac. Very he doesn't live in my home. He actually lives about eight but, states I mean, away. We, like, why wouldn't you share that with, that your, with right. your friends when we share our yes. men with each other? Is that when it comes to people coming at me? Robin, just have my back. You gonna really throw your best friend out of the bus like that? Like, you really just gonna push her under there? What is going on, Robin? And guess what? I am all the way here for it because y'all know I don't like Giselle, okay? Y'all know I don't like Giselle. Y'all know that I feel like Giselle is the Kenya of Potomac, okay? Just stirring up mess, doing everything she can to keep a damn, uh, what do they hold? A champagne glass. Um, on that damn title card, like just messy. Okay, Giselle is just messy. I don't like her, but um, I'm so here for Robin throwing her under the bus because did Robin lie? Okay, in my Nicki Minaj voice, did Robin lie? Okay, no lies told. Now, here is my opinion on the whole thing. I kind of feel like it's really nobody's business what Giselle and Jamal is doing, honestly. I mean, they are on a reality television show, and so of course, we're gonna pry into their business because you kind of are putting it out there in a way. But if we're speaking in terms of like real life, it's really nobody's business what Giselle got going on with her boyfriend um, or what have you. However, I do think that Karen has a good point. How come Giselle, you're always in everybody else's business, but yet we don't know any of your business. What is going on with you and Jamal? 
Is this a real relationship? Is this a fake relationship? How come he's never around? How come you're always going to Atlanta and he's never coming up there to Potomac or Maryland or Baltimore or DC? I can't, I don't know where y'all live at this point. Honestly, if you know specifically what state Potomac is in, I think it's in Maryland. <laughs> but how come he's never coming up there to Maryland, girl? How come he hasn't come to support you at any type of venture or event? It kind of is just not making much sense to me. On top of that, Giselle, your own daughters don't think that you dating this man is a good idea. And so something ain't right. And guess what? I'm all the way here for Karen getting into Giselle's mess. How Sheree said, uh, girl, we talking about you. Portia said, no, girl, we can talk about you too. Okay, Giselle, we talking about you too. So Robin said, why wouldn't Jamal be around? We share our relationships with you, but yet you don't share yours with us. Get into it, Robin, get into it, okay? And literally before this moment, I thought that Robin should have gotten her champagne glass snatched, okay? Because she's a snooze fest. But at that moment, okay, at that moment, it gave me hope for Robin, all right? And so I'm excited to see what's gonna go down uh, during this trip in Portugal. It looks like uh, Candace and Ashley are on the wrong road, okay? Wrong road. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Tell me what you guys think about everything that we talked about. Do you think Biden is gonna pull it out or do you think Donald Trump will prevail, okay, and get reelected. Let me know, how do we feel about Candy having an attitude when Steve Harvey asked her about the Real Housewives? And then um, how do you guys feel about her not speaking to Nene? And then uh, what's going on with Karen, Giselle, and Robin, honey? It's a whole mess. Let me know down in the comments. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys a little bit later in another video. Love you guys. Don't forget to create a great day. Bye.